Okay, Twisted Tine Ranch followers. Here's our hopefully solution to our pig problem we have on the new 500 acres we just high fenced. What we did here is we've built a pig gate that's cellular activated. I think you've probably seen them out on the web and that people selling them. You can build this whole thing for about 200, $250 in parts and that, and then about two days sweat equity, running around getting everything and cutting and welding and painting, etc. But we'll walk you through the basic build here. I've got some separate pictures of the electronic controls in there. But it's activated by calling the cellular uh, number for the controls. And what happens is it'll ring twice, it doesn't answer, and then that fires the actuator, which drops the gate. The gate's made out of basic inch and a half by inch and a half angle iron, eighth inch. Uh, it's got some one inch square tubing that I made the gate itself that moves up and down out of. Uh, got a few little brackets on the side here. That's for your T-post. Once you've driven those, you can slide that in and put a bolt around the T-post to hold the pig trap in place. I'm just using the 50, I think it's 52 inch by 16 foot cattle panels. Uh, put five of those together to make the corral with T-post. I've got a solar panel on it. This pipe going up here, I've just got it setting on there. It's magnetic. That antenna will actually go down through that pipe and set on the top and then through that little uh, shielded cable there in, inside the ammo box. Ammo box came from Harbor Freight. That's like $12 solar panel. Amazon, that's another $25. Now this, you're going to have to look for. I got this from a collision repair place uh close by stopped by just asked them if they had any old doors junked and they gave me this uh door latch panel uh, lock out of car door and basically it works you know this would be your handle pull and underneath it it just snaps in this little pin there just like your car pulls up latches in there and then it securely holds it so that works really well. It then goes to a little wire. And on the inside of the box, there's a solenoid in the bottom that fires off. It's just a 12 volt solenoid. So when you call it, that's what gets energized. Got a uh, feeder battery and then this controller. This controller, uh, was a rather, it was more expensive than most of them. It's a seven channel. I don't need several, seven channel. All you need is one to fire the, the solenoid, but I couldn't get one in time. They were all on back order. You do want to get a 4G LT. There's 2G out there and 3G, but 2G is being obsolete, going to be eliminated by AT&T. So you don't want to do that and make sure you buy your controller for your cellular area. I have AT&T, so that's what I use. If you add it on your plan, it's about $10 a month, $30 to activate it, and then $10 a month. I probably won't run this thing more than a couple months. All right, that's the basic build. Um, I'm gonna have to do a separate video of, of the thing dropping because I can't call the pig trap in video at the same time.